don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here. And look, back in 2013, on whenever Valve buddy unveiled Steam OS and the Steam Machine, everyone was thinking, damn man, the Steam Machine is gonna be insane. <clears throat> it's gonna bring people to the PC platform. It's gonna make Linux really, really big. And um, you know, it's gonna be so great and all this and that. And of course, that's what I was thinking from the start. I was thinking, okay, this is really cool. This is something that would actually bring mainstream gamers or console gamers to the PC because we've got a machine that runs PC games, of course. Now, uh, as time progressed and I started to realize, wait, it's not one machine. It's not like one Valve machine where, you know, there's set specs and, um, you know, obviously it will improve like every few years or whatever. When I started to realize that everyone can make their own Steam machine uh, Alienware can make their own Steam Machine, Zotac, fucking anyone can make their own Steam Machine, I was realizing, shit, no, this is not as it seems, this is not going to be a very good thing, and of course, I said two years ago that the Steam Machine was not going to work out, I said it was going to fail, because, look, the whole point of a console is that it's simple, it's plug and play, it's easy, when someone, buddy, um, Jim from bloody Sydney, man. He goes in, goes into a JB Hi-Fi. It's like, look, I want to buy my son, Tim. I want to buy him, you know, a console. I want to buy him a machine to game on. Uh, of course, when he rocks up and then the JB Hi-Fi spokesperson, he's like, okay, so we've got the Xbox One. We've got the PS4. Then we've got these things called Steam Machines. And we've got the Zotac Steam Machine. We've got the Alienware Steam Machine. We've got the Asus Steam Machine, we've got this, we've got that, and he's like, what the fuck, what, what's so good about them? And then the bloody spokesperson has to say, okay, this has better specs, this will perform better in this, this has a better CPU and whatnot. It just creates unnecessary tension and it makes things more complicated. It makes the entire buying process unnecessarily harder. However, if Valve just chose with one Steam machine with set specifications, right, and they upgraded it, I don't know, maybe every year or two, every three years, but they went with good specs from the start, yet they maintained the entire, you know, it's a PC, are uh, you playing PC games, then this would have worked out maybe a bit better, I don't know how well, how successful it actually would have been, but it definitely would have been better than what we've got now, because all we've got now is dumb, it's stupid, you can't even argue with me on it, there's no reason to buy a Steam machine, I mean, if you want to buy like a, a little machine to game on, on the TV, you might as well just use Steam in-home streaming, because it's it's going to be better and it's going to be cheaper for you as well. So, yeah, I don't get the point of it. <clears throat> Valve really gave themselves the dick in terms of the Steam Machine thing. They really screwed themselves over. It was a big, big fail. Now, Steam OS, on the other hand, I don't think, I think Steam OS has room to improve. Obviously, it is an OS. It is on Linux. Of course, it's going to improve. And drivers, of course, are still kind of an issue on Linux. But, um, you know, it's just not at the Windows level. It's probably not going to get to that for a very, very long time. But as it is now, man, the Steam Machines, whoo, stupidity. Absolute stupidity. I knew it was going to be dumb. I knew it. I was, oh, I said it so many times. Yeah, people, oh, it's, it's just sad to see it fell so badly like this, man. And the Steam Controller, that's, that bloody thing went through so many revisions, man. And at the end of it, you still can't really use it for like an FPS or whatever. Obviously, FPS is not the only games on bloody PC. But um, if you did, if you look at Linus Tech Tips, he did the review. Big Luke from LTT did the review on the Steam controller, and he said that look for games like Civilization Five, where you're kind of uh, chilled, you're casual. The Steam controller is good, but for a racing game, why would you use a fucking Steam controller for a racing game when you've got a 360 controller, Xbox One controller, like a Logitech controller, or a wheel? For first person shooters or any shooters in that point, um, obviously, regular control would be better than the Steam controller. I mean, it's just not a very versatile controller. I mean, I see what Valve was trying to do with the whole haptic feedback kind of thing, trying to make it feel like a mouse. They were trying to be different, and shout out to them for trying to be different. But at the end of the day, sometimes why well, fix something if it ain't broke? The standard controller as it is right now is good as it is, so 
yeah so look anyway guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed that look comment down below on what you think about the steam machine was it really really worth it i mean should valve have taken a different route with this personally i think so, so thank you for watching and i'll <laughs> see you guys later